Good morning everyone. Today onwards we are going to start third unit of business studies that is business environment. So before starting to learn about the meaning and features let us first see an example through an animation. Please keep the volume of your devices down for better understanding. Business environment In the year 2006 a new Delhi based research organization Center for Science and Environment, CSC, headed by Sunita Narayan, came out with their study on soft drink brands. The reports indicated the presence of pesticides in Pepsi and Coke, which it claimed had been happening for over a period of three years. This report triggered a series of protests across the nation and resulted in nationwide criticism of the beverage companies. Consequently, the sales graph of Pepsi and Coke started dipping, resulting in huge loss for the MNC joints. In order to regain the lost foothold in the market, the companies adopted a new makeover campaign, under which Products were endorsed by celebrities. This event shows how both the internal and external environment can affect a business. Now let's begin with the unit. Let's first understand with what is business environment. Environment related to the business is the sum total of all the individuals or institutions or other factors that are outside the control of a business enterprise but which may influence the performance of an enterprise. Let us see what are the features that is anything which is affecting the business is called the business environment. It may be the individuals, it may be the institution, it may be any specific forces, it may be general forces. Whatever is affecting a business is known as business environment. One by one we'll learn about the features of business environment. It is totality of external factors, it is related to specific and general forces, it has interrelatedness, it has a dynamic nature, uncertainty, complexity, relativity, we will learn all these features one by one. Let's first understand totality of external factors. Business environment is aggregative that is total, totality in nature. That is one of the basic important feature is it includes all the features. It includes all the factors, individuals and institutions which are affecting a business. It comprises of forces like economic forces that is related to money, political forces, technological forces etc which are external to an enterprise and affecting it to some or the other extent. Second is it is related to specific as well as general forces. Now listen this very carefully. Specific forces of business environment are those which affect an individual enterprise directly and these comprise of all the investors, customers, competitors, suppliers, government, political forces, that is anything which is specifically affecting the business. My customers will affect me. People who have invested in my business will affect me if they withdraw the money. Competitors who are in comp competition with me will affect me. Suppliers, if they increase the cost of supplies, if they increase the cost of raw material, that will affect my business. So these are specific forces which are affecting my business. Second are the general forces. These are those forces which affect, the, affect all the business enterprises directly or indirectly and comprise of social, political, legal, technological conditions etc. For example, change in fashion and trend. It will affect not only my business, it, it will affect all other similar business activities. Similarly, change in the tax rate by the government. That will affect not only my business, it is going to affect all other businesses. 
therefore business environment is the totality of specific forces which affect a particular business and general forces which affect the entire business community third feature is interrelatedness elements of business environment are interrelated we will learn deep into detail about the elements of business environment in the coming videos but i'll explain you in short uh, social environment is related to culture and trend prevailing in the society fashion prevailing in the society that is social environment uh, national income of the country per capita income of the country that is economic environment political rules political acts which are passed that is uh, political environment uh, also technology uh, day by day technology is going on updating itself that is technological environment so there are different types of elements of business environment that we learn deep into detail but all these elements are interrelated for example when we are aware see now these days corona virus is at peak and we are all aware this is social environment that we are aware this awareness is leading to uh, increased usage of uh, the, uh, such products which build up the immunity of the people so it means that one environment which is called the social environment the trend the culture the awareness which is spreading amongst the people social environment is related to economic environment because it is increasing the sale of such products which are immunity builders and further it is increasing to uh, it is leading to increase in income that is economic environment therefore we say that social and economic environment are interrelated similarly when we are aware that we are not able to go to school it means we are using the technology now now this awareness that we cannot go to school the health hazards which are spreading in the environment and and not allowing us to go to school it is leading to uh, usage of technology it means again social environment is related to technological environment also therefore all the elements that we learn later on are closely interrelated with each other and directly or indirectly they impact each other then business environment is dynamic in nature as i have already explained you dynamic means something which is going on changing so business environment continuously keeps on changing it is not stable because of new technological improvements because of shift in consumer preferences because of entry of new competitors in the market etc so business environment is not stable it is not static it is dynamic business environment is further uncertain you do not know what is going to happen in future elements are completely dynamic in nature what is going to happen we do not know similarly business environment is also uncertain prediction of the future of various factors is quite difficult and if, even if we predict it may keep on changing so business environment is uncertain plus business environment is very difficult to understand it is complex it comprises of numerous interrelated and dynamic forces see elements are related to each other and they also keep on changing so it becomes quite difficult to understand that the business environment and therefore the business environment is quite complex multiplicity of its elements makes understanding of business environment difficult moreover business environment has relativity what does this mean it is a relative concept that is we relate one area with the other area one township with the other township one country with the other country from one country to another country one region to another region business environment is not the same it keeps on changing for example the increased demand for sarees in india is not the same in canada increased demand of snow suits in canada is not the same in india therefore business environment is relative it is not same everywhere it keeps on changing from region to region from place to place for example fuel prices differ across different regions around the world in some countries the prices are comparatively lesser as compared to the other countries in 2016 hong kong had the highest petrol prices as compared to the other nations so i hope that you are clear with the concept of what is business environment what are its features and the explanation of the features in the next module we learn about the importance of business environment thank you all